Welcome in my beautiful souls to a daily read. We're going to talk about Sunday. Let me just do a beginning shuffle and then we'll jump in and see what spirit has for us. I feel as if it's a day of productivity and rest and relaxation. Um, and for somebody specifically, I'm getting it's going to alter in regards to it, right? Um, you're resting in the morning when you first get up, but then you're productive after uh, which and then uh, after you get things done of significance or that you just want to then you're relaxing and replenishing once again but um, it doesn't have to end up alternating like that but I do feel as if for somebody that is the case but we're beginning with the four of pentacles the two of wands and the sun card there's something sunny about you throughout this day and they're saying think back to what you've accomplished think back to and maybe even what you've accomplished throughout this period this day um, think back to uh, certain levels of rest and replenishment, but productivity uh, as well that is, whether you want to give credit to it or not, realize it or not, it's leading up to this day and you feeling happy. There's a situation where once upon a time you weren't uh, happy and that could also uh, speak upon very recently for some drawn to the reading, but you are quite, I'm hearing giddy or just at least glowing in a sunny manner throughout this day trying your best to enjoy what uh, feels mundane typical uh, for somebody that's at work it could be in regards to running your business could be running errands uh, you know associating yourself with certain people in your life you name it i'm getting for someone specifically it's about cleaning up the home situation um, and tidying up but the two of wands because you can't help but long for more all right um, it's not to say you aren't grateful. It's not to say that you aren't uh, enjoying yourself to the best of your ability, or at least getting back to that uh, way of being, that state of being. But the Two of Wands speaking upon you, knowing that more lies ahead, but then having uh, concerns, question marks, a little bit of nervousness is what I'm getting. Um, but they're saying, make sure you don't allow for that to affect what you are uh, completing throughout this period. Uh, uh, you know, wrapping yourself up with and applying yourself towards uh, whether it's you know a necessity, uh, an obligation, a responsibility, or something that you want to, because it does feel like either way. If you think about it for a hot second in a simplistic manner, it is of importance in your world currently, even if it doesn't have an importance in the long run. But it might. The Four of Pentacles coming out as well because. You're going to be thinking about financial savings, wanting to be prepared for an investment of importance. Um, and that could be, you know, absolutely tied to an ending and a new beginning or an ending and a re-sparking of something of importance that you once had in your life. Um, and I feel as if you're going to be thinking about, well, I have this much, so how do I go about acquiring uh, this uh, remaining amount or two? You know what I mean? and they're reminding you that you will have enough okay you need to not allow that to disturb uh, the, uh ruin uh, the process of whatever you're doing in the moment it could be making money accomplishing earning but it definitely could be something completely different that also holds significance and importance um it's about knowing when the fine line is about to be crossed in regards to focusing upon your future um, making sure either way you're focusing upon it in a hopeful and confident manner, um, a believing manner is what I just heard, and knowing uh, when you need to make sure to come back to or remain in the present moment, because that's going to be of the true, uh, it's going to be very beneficial for you throughout this period. Now, it does feel like you're being prepared for um, a rebirth in your life of some sort, okay? Um, this could be tied to a move of residence. It could be tied to a new relationship. I wouldn't be surprised if one rebirth uh, leads to another new beginning of importance. Um, but you may as well be wrapped up with something that you are uh, meant to accomplish uh, or just a situation full of necessary um, uh, in choosing accomplishments, interesting wording. Um, or this could be more of uh, what you're reflecting upon from the previous days, weeks, uh, it's getting, giving me very much work vibes could be where you're living um, but it does feel as if with the devil card there it is full of temptation and uh, certain levels of difficulty annoyance maybe toxicity to go to that extent but they're saying if that's um, feeling applicable for you you need to remember that that situation is not meant to 
be permanent or the uh, devil energy within it is not meant to be permanent. It's one or the other, okay? Um, because we can't have you and won't allow for you to continue after a certain point um, investing in a situation, sticking with something that holds even partial devil energy. And so therefore um, you will be thinking, uh, being pushed to think about things in a more hopeful light in regards to that. But um, it doesn't mean it's not a necessary situation, being a roof over your head or um, the comfort of somebody is what I'm hearing, or it could be, you know, of course, work once again. We need money, right? We need to be making an income, but um, in supporting ourselves this is what I'm hearing, and maybe your loved ones all the meanwhile, but you're also going to be reflecting upon the potential that lied once upon a time in regards to something new for you. And then it didn't end up happening. Why was this? Why is this? Because you knew deep down within you that this was not the right choice. And then therefore it did not come to be. That's not the reasoning per se, but it's a spirit saying you need to, and I got this reminder uh, yesterday uh, when I was feeling a bit concerned. You know, I'm predictive in nature. I'm a tarot reader. I'm really good at what, I, uh, excuse me, good at what I do, but I still am a little bit concerned at certain points. You know, I'm just uh, a human like you, but um, they're saying, and I got this reminder once again recently, that you need to be trusting in, please trust in the fact that what's meant to come to be, what's meant to actually be within your world, be sparked and continued, will come to be. And what's meant to be prevented, not meant for you. It's just simply not gonna happen, okay? Um, and if you force it, you could end up with certain difficulties, discomfort, and obstacles that we absolutely are doing our best to prevent at this time but um yeah again going back to that rebirth death and rebirth card uh, there's a sense of you knowing that your world is changing now but it's as if again you're being prepared for more epic change moving forward second day in a row where the word epic came up um second daily read if you will but they're again saying that as you do things in your own way, heading towards and reaching for uh, the accomplishment of certain levels of freedom, looking at the horse, um, it's all supporting how your world is meant to develop moving forward. Knowing for a fact and remembering uh, throughout this period, things can't stay the same, right? Things do, for a period of time, sure, right? Uh, reminding us once again that everything is temporary in a sense, even uh, within different chapters of continuing situations, but things need to change after a certain point for the sake of growth development and to feel more aligned with how you're changing within, correct? I mean, feeling more so now than ever that this is one of the main energies in this reading, but they're saying it's actually more so the sun card because that's what we began with. Um, speaking upon you knowing deep down that completion will lead to happiness and this will absolutely come to mind in more than one way on more than one level but they're saying honesty is also the best policy until things do switch up in a significant way um being shown the judgment card let's get a couple more doing a backflip the three of cups there's something about you connecting to um little moments of celebration all right tying back to the sun card um you as well connecting to i want to say two if not three at most people um they're labeling them as of importance in your life at this point even if one or uh it could be all of them that you don't feel have a place in your future um but it's as if you actually are changing these people's lives for the better in whatever situation that you guys feel most uh, connected in regards to, um, could be where you met, could be where you're uh, you know, investing your time and energy resources into. There's something about you specifically changing this situation in the midst of um, uh, connecting to them, okay? And appreciating them. Um, your ability to bond with certain people and accomplishments, even adapt to them uh, very strategically and even effortlessly, even in fleeting moments. Um, or super slow moments, that's working out in your favor, all right? And it's changing the outcome in a situation. But they're saying stay grounded, all right? And if you find that something outside of you or within you, uh, whether it's 
concern, a noise factor, uh, someone's energy otherwise, could be expectation. Allow for yourself to reground and don't allow for things to feel trapped or limited because things are going to feel uh, loose moving forward, right? Loosened up, uh, the horse is being shown to me again, freedom will come to be. Um, I mean, that's one, um, oh, it's just 110 actually. Anyways, but um, I do feel as if the number 10 is, is very significant, all right? Um, because I do feel as if there may be a lot on your plate. This may be more so about heavy energy or heavy expectations, heavy concern about uh, the future or other aspects of your current day reality. But they're saying things are going to work out, okay? You're needing to notice uh, wholeheartedly that things are going to be uh, uh, redeveloped moving forward. Uh, your world is changing currently within and outside of you, and you need to understand that you're currently, again, being very much supported, guided, and prepared for some epic rebirth. And allow for yourself to remember there are reasons to celebrate, and you're best at what you do when you're happy, okay? So if this was truly helpful, I'm of course sending you so much love and light.